It's almost 11 o'clock at night, and I did in fact sleep through this. It's almost done. It was a bit of a patchy sleep, but um, I think I got enough. Um, it went after some of the things I was expecting, right? So it cleared up the VDIs, that's the virtual virtual disk image files, right? Those VDI files here. So that's expected. It also seems to have cleared a, co a couple of AVIs. Um, that's unexpected. That one, I don't even know what that is. 20803E. To figure that out. Um, my best guess is the DOS will. I think maybe 2003, but still, it's. Is that even 14? No, that would have been 13. 14 was what? It was the. You know, because the vlog was 1920. Yeah. So 13 ended with 18. No, sorry, four, 14 was... No. So 14 is from the 21st of March. Sorry, the 21st of... Yeah, the 21st of March till the 2nd of April. So it's not even that. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I have, to, I have to explore it in DOS. It's all, this is all, like, the, the last stage is halfway done. So it'll be done soon. Um, it's hard for me to understand why there are files being targeted outside the virtual machine. Um, I'm kind of left to conclude. Um, see, I, I noticed that one of the things that was making, th making the machine out a little bit funny was plugging it in. I think that um, I may be being targeted. Now, th that may be a little less... Um, it might not be what you think immediately, because the file in the virtual machine that's being targeted, I think it, the reason it's being targeted is because I mentioned the term Walmart, or I mentioned the, the, the name Walmart. I'm going to take a look at these and listen. Um, I suspect um, it's more of a branding issue. Like, I'm not joking. It's like, people upset that I'm, like, using corporate names. Like, I, as though they think I should buy. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna mention that I went to Walmart, then I should pay them for that. You know. It, neoliberalism, it's a strange thing. Anyways, um... I need to, uh, let that finish, but, um, I'm also going to, uh, have a little talk here. So let me, uh, stop and start and turn over. This is a short battery, so I don't know how much longer it's going to get me, but, um, I've been thinking through this issue with the cats. I've been very tolerant, um, with them coming out of the last court case, um, Attempting to do just about everything I can to avoid litigation. Um, over the last 24 hours, they have threatened me with an eviction notice called the Humane Society, who in turn threatened to call the police, um, and have uh, harassed me repeatedly. Um, upon bringing these concerns to the property owner, um, I've been met with, uh, with a total stonewall. So, um, I think that uh, my options um, are beginning to exhaust. I need to check to see, I mean, I haven't checked my email all night, right? I need to check to see what's there. But um, I am fully planning on providing the property owners with um, kind of one opportunity. They told me this was supposed to be a learning experience. Um, or the last time I went through, right? They, they, you know, they didn't understand, it was like a learning experience, everything else. They are demonstrating that they have not learned anything. That they are basically doing the same thing. Um, they're trying to prevent me from taking steps to remove cat feces from my windowsill, thereby 
infringing on my rights to enjoy the property. It's exactly the same thing. Right? Last time they were trying to stop me from running a fan. This time they're trying to stop me from taking the feces out. They don't seem to fundamentally get it. And so I'm going to give them one opportunity to prove that they get it. And if they don't do that, that I'm going to have to sue them. I'm going to request the following. One, that they put up netting for the cats. And two, that they refund me half of the rent for June. Because clearly, um, I've, I've, I mean, between the cats and the harassment, um, there's been a definite um, infringement on my rights of enjoyment over the last month or so. So, if they do not put the netting in and do not refund me half the rent for June, I'm going to have to sue them to put the netting in and have a rental reduction until they do. Um, again, this is... They seem to have a fundamental misunderstanding of what a property owner is, right? They seem to be... You know, you know, like, they're taking pictures of me, and, like, it's, like, they, they seem to think of the situation as though there's a hierarchy, and the people at the top are the boss, and, the pe and you know, as though, it's, as though it's a company or a corporation, right? And they get to tell people what to do, right? And this kind of flawed understanding of things. The law doesn't treat a property owner as in, as in a position of authority, so much as it treats them as in a position of obligation, right? It's not that they're an authority figure that has the right to tell me what to do, so much as that they're a vendor of a product. They're selling me something. And they have an obligation along with that sale to ensure that their product meets certain standards, right? And I'm going to try to kind of maybe get that point across in the email as well. Um... Because I think that's the point that they're not learning. Um, I, I can't file it until... I mean, it depends on what, when my grandmother sends me the check. I will prioritize the litigation over the computer. Um, but um, I'm going to give them until, I guess, July 4th to make a choice on this. And if they refuse to abide... Or they, if they refuse to um, uh, honor my requests... I'm going to have to sue them again. And we'll have to sue them again if they don't. And again and again and again. Until they're able to understand that the function of a property owner is not to bark commands to their tenants, but to listen to the concerns of the tenants. Because, again, this isn't, this isn't a feudal relationship, right? This isn't about property rights. This is about a product that, they, that they're selling and the legal requirements, which are quite onerous, the legal requirements to ensure that the product they're selling meets a certain standard. If they don't know that, they don't know that. But they're going to have to learn that. <laughs> or we're going to be in court a lot. It, 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 it's the mindset shift, right? It's not about property rights. It's about selling a product on a market and upholding the legal obligations that come with selling that product. Right? It's not some Burkean hierarchy, but in fact a market relationship. So we got to get that, you know... I, I have I have little expectation that they'll understand, but I can record enough and I explain it enough. Eventually, they'll have to, right? I, I got to see what they sent me, but um, I'm fully expecting to send them a notice once I get that back up in a few hours. For now, I got to wait for that to finish. Um, check a few things quickly and get something to eat. Okay, everything seems to be clear. Um, there was one file in there, I got it out. Um, I reset the machine back. It should be clear. Um, I just want to watch. There were two files that were kind of flagged. 
one of them, it turns out it, it was one of the, I was able to figure out which one it was. It was a vlog that I downloaded, so I can download that. Um, but I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to watch this, too. Um, after that, um, it turns out um, now I have some loose vlogs. I might as well watch and upload them um, and then get back to what I was doing afterwards. Um, so this is going to be um, one more quiet day. It's what, Thursday? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Well, no, no it, it's, it's turning over to Thursday, so... Um, Hopefully, I can get enough done today and get enough things, you know, organized that I can get back to the music reviews tomorrow. And I'm serious. That's actually plausible, potentially. I've been saying that for a long time. Well, I mean, look. Watch the vlogs for the last two months. You can see. The last three, four months. That's what. June, May, April, March. Yeah. Five, the last five months. And you can see it's like one thing after another. Um, I'm just about there. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to launch another court battle, but um, I should be back on track anyways. This is going to be different, this court battle. Like, I'm not going to be, you know, this is this is going to be more like I, I documented everything over, over email. And, like, I'm hoping... No, I'm not. I'm not even hoping. I have to do the formality of sending them, you know, but... Like, I'm just going to make it really clear, you know. Last time, like, you didn't create the smoke, but I sued you because you stopped me from mitigating the smoke. Similarly, you didn't create the cat shit, but you're trying to stop me from removing it. And so I'm going to sue you for that. Okay, yeah, this is another short charge, but it's, uh, it's way longer, and I don't, I don't expect to be ranting a lot today. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's like, you didn't create the smoke, but you're trying to stop me from mitigating it, and you can't do that. Likewise, you didn't create the cat shit, although, they're more responsible for the cat shit than they were for the smoke. Um, but it's like, you're being sued because you're trying to stop me, and you're harassing me in the process, right? And again, why are they doing this? Last time... I think there was a certain level of, of naivety that they, they can't they can't claim naive like they can't they can't claim ignorance this time right um, and I think that there's a certain like, like even even the idea is harassing me because they're trying to draw me out right and like you can't you can't harass your tenants until they leave and if you're gonna do that you're gonna lose a lot of rent so that's what we got to do here. Um, Any, any attempts to give them the benefit of the doubt are past. Um, any attempts to be constructive after the court date have passed. Um, all they've done is harass me and bother me. So, um, I'm going to give them kind of... I'm going to give them the chance to deal with the issue outside of court, right? Um, I, I think that, again, I think, I think they're going to be shocked. Like, because they fundamentally don't understand their rule. They think they're in some kind of position of authority, and I'm supposed to just like, like, like fall in line like a like a soldier or something. You know, it's just like. I, I like, how do you how do you grow up in a liberal society and 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 have these backwards concepts of things? I don't, I don't get it. But this is what the truth is. So. You know, it's. I'm kind of toying with. Like, do I do I want to explain this or do I? Wanna... No. I, I I think I think the the time for collaboration has passed. I think they've made it clear that they're just they're just oblivious to, to, to the you know oblivious to the law, oblivious to their obligations, oblivious to the reality of things. So. Um, I think that, um, like I say, I mean, I, I, number one, I don't want to, I don't want to bankrupt them. I mean, I, I think they're a long way from being bankrupt, but I don't want to do that. And number two, I don't want to spend, you know, the next ten years in court. Although, I mean, if I have to, 
but I mean, like, it's something like I want to be explaining, you know, I want to explain, okay, this is why I'm doing this, this is why you're wrong, this is why you need to do this, but they're just, it's just my property, my authority, my, you know, and they're just not reacting, right? So, I think I kind of need to get the point and stop, you know, stop trying to lead them down the garden path and let them fall on their face. And, you know, if that means, you know, a barrage of litigation until they, until they settle, then that's what it's going to be. So, um, if they want to try to drive me out, I can play that game too. I can try and force them to sell. And that's what it's going to, that's what it's going to be. And, uh, like I say, in, in this society, the rights are with tenants. And the obligations are with property owners, and they're they're going to learn the hard way that um, if they want to if they want to get into this fight, they're going to lose it. Especially with me because I'm smart. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna watch the uh, the couple that were kind of iffy. Uh, I'm gonna have to get online and and investigate the situation. I'm going to get something to eat while I'm watching it. And, uh, we'll go from there. Am I apprehensive about the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch this and see. What I'm looking for, like, did I drop corporate brands? Like, is that is that kind of what's going on here? Am I, am I getting uh, shot on for that? Um, we'll see. Um, I, that's what I kind of suspect. Um, but then again, it might, it might just be a giant coincidence. We'll find out. I napped this morning from, I don't know, 4 to 6. But I fin finished eating and then started napping. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually, for the first time, no shirt on, first time succeeded in spraying a cat right there. It was right here, and I'm pretty sure I got it. But I mean, it's like, it's right there. Like, if I can go up to, up to my window and spray it, it's too close. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Um, and I'm, like I said, the reason I'm pretty sure I got it is because I went out and I couldn't see anything. So, I saw the cat, I sprayed it, I went out and there's nothing there. So, that's good, um, if, if it gets the point. Um, is it going to get the point? That's another question. Um, the other thing is it might have been a squirrel. It says, I mean, you see something bushy up against a window like that, you can't, you don't really have a good sense of depth. You can't really see the whole thing, or you can see a little bit of hair, right? So, it might have been a squirrel. I don't know. Either way, um, I think I finally got a direct hit. I, I think that's the first time I've ever actually succeeded. I don't know. I mean, I've sprayed a bunch of times, but... Like, I might have hit a tail or something once or twice. I think that was the first direct hit I actually got. But, like I say, it might have been a squirrel. I don't know. Um, did we talk? There was, there was nothing out there this morning. I think, I think we talked, right? Yeah. I can't even remember. Okay, I went out. If we didn't talk, I went out, I don't know, a little after six, and there was there was nothing. Nothing at all. Um, usually on a good night, there's like a little bit of urine. Tonight, nothing. Totally, totally clear. Um, and it's a positive. So, um... Like, I, I don't know if it's just a coincidence, or if it's because the guy across the way is, is keeping them in. Although, I did see the little black hat. Alright, so, um, I don't know. I know that, um, no feces overnight is a rare occurrence. There was a night, uh, last weekend, where it rained. It didn't rain overnight, though. It rained this morning. Um, I, I don't know. I know I just keep, need to keep, uh... Th th this is an almost impossible task. I understand that, but I don't really have a lot of options. Um, I did send an email. Yeah, I, I don't think we did talk this morning. I, I did send an email out to, um... The property owner explaining that, okay, we need... I'm, I'm gonna file file it on July 4th, but um, if 
you deal with the issue before then, then I won't. It's just, I mean, after yesterday, like, we've got the, we got the, we got the retarded kid up there yelling at me, you know, ordering me around, calling me names. She called the Humane Society of the Pickle Juice. You know, like, this is, there's a certain, I mean, there's a certain aspect of this that I can kind of reduce to, okay, she's retarded, but at the same time, um, like, number one, even if that is all there is to it, is she's retarded and she's, like, like, they still need to, they need to take responsibility for that, like, like, that's not, ultimately, it's not an excuse, right? I'm, I'm tolerant and everything, but ultimately, like, Her guardians need to take responsibility for her behavior, right? And in this case, where she's acting as an agent of a property owner, it's the property owner who happens to be her sister that needs to take control of the situation, right? And responsibility for her behavior. So even if even if that's all there is to it is, okay, she's retarded, she's acting like a retard, that's it. I mean, that's not good enough. There has to be some, some reckoning um, regarding that. Um... But I mean, it's not, it, it can't, right? Like, like, there, there's, there's more to it than that. This is, this is malicious. This is harassment. So, um, that's, that's gotta be dealt with, right? So, I sent that out this morning. Um, I've eaten, I did the dishes. I did a couple of chases. I don't know if it's, uh, I'll keep an eye out with my nose. Um, but I mean, it was clear. And like I said, I sprayed something. I might have been a squirrel. I don't know. But um, there's still nothing out there. I can just keep, keep my nose out. And uh, what am I doing today? I got stuck with a check disc last night. Um, I got to do a bunch of stuff on there. I got to research. I gotta find a bylaw. Um, I presume it's I presume it's against the law to feed the cats. I'll have to double check that, but I mean that's a presumption. I'll have to find it. What I'll do, I think, um, to start off with, is I'll print off a bunch of copies of the bylaw and just put them in people's mailboxes, right? Um, I'd have to presume that people don't know that that's against the law. Um, but um, if they continue to feed the cats. Um, pass the bylaw, then um, we'll have to get some bylaw people over here um, and order them not to do that anymore. Um, if if the person that was feeding the cats that lived there, I mean, I saw the person that moved, but it was an older woman um, who feeds cats, older women, um, that's kind of a likely suspect. If it was her, she left the pan there. But I don't think there was any food in it yesterday, and it doesn't appear to be any food in it today. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but that's something else that I'm keeping an eye on. Um, because if there's no food there, I think that's a big, a big part of keeping them out of this precise little neighborhood, right? But I gotta find the right bylaw for it, anyways. Um, so there's that. Oh yeah, I need to get the. Uh, Get the mic out of there. Should I call my? I should call, call my grandmother this morning. This is a, this is all just a lot of scattered things. Um, but I mean, the main focus is editing, or at least getting some editing ready for the night. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I know I knew that I had two external uh, webcams. Um, I was gonna use this one because it requires less drivers. The other one's a. One of those old uh, Logitechs from like 2005 or something. It's like you got to install, install the software and everything else, right? It's a pain in the ass. I found this. This was this is for my um, laptop. I'm oh, sorry, my uh, my desktop. Um, it's the uh, the internal uh, sound card in it. Um, it is relatively fancy, and I plugged it in and like no drivers. Nothing, it's just um, automatically, and we can see as I'm talking there, it comes up and down, so 
not to install anything. It's just there. So um, that's almost as good as an internal mic. Um, and it's minus the... Uh, actually, what did... Uh, I was curious, because it should now lo no longer be telling me that I have a... Um, I forgot to check this. Okay, so that, that, that's my USB that's busted. It's this one here. Um, it's just, I kind of expected that because the ribbon isn't connected. I can pop the keyboard back off and, you know, if I... If this machine ends up being used for what I want to use it for, it probably won't matter because so long as the SD card works. And is that, is that there? Mouse. Yeah. I don't really see any reason to think that it wouldn't work, but let's, uh, I'm gonna have to play around with it to make sure. Okay. So this is a quad core. So this is a fast machine. Like I say, if I can, if I can put this aside and quarantine it off the net, uh, you know, off the network, and I can put some software so I'm not running virtual machines that would be much better, right? It would actually like be super fast, right? You can get through, you know, vlogs probably in an afternoon, especially if it's dedicated, right? I'm not worried about going off and on and everything else I'm just going on. Um, so, um, I could even, um, I could, I, I could even just connect it to whatever, you know, monitor I end up using in the other space. I could even end up attaching, like, this, instead of using a TV, I could attach this to the other space in there. Um, and I could set up with a KVR, because I have a KVR from years ago. Alright, so that I can just pop it back and forth from the two machines by pushing the button. But, um, yeah, I, I previously had, I had the Wi-Fi, it was disabled, it's just not there anymore, that's good. And I had the webcam, and it was disabled, and it's just not there anymore. Okay. I don't know what happened to my, uh... It's my SD card that I'm more concerned about, but for, for whatever, it's not, uh... Not the biggest thing to worry about right now. Okay. I got my mic. Um, so that means I can call my doctors which is big. I've been waiting for like a month and a half, two months. I'm supposed to call the uh, local urologist about the orchidectomy. Um, and I think I've decided that if I don't do that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with the operation for now. When I get a little older, maybe. Like when I'm, you know, but I don't, uh, I don't see a value in doing so at the moment. But, but, but I would like to get them out if I can here. Um, and I'm going to call my grandmother. I'm going to wait. It's wait till after 8.30. Maybe, maybe more like 10. So, i got an hour and a half to... Uh, is this not... Uh, it's pretty close. Um, okay. Okay, so that's it's done. No meaningful loss of functionality besides the USB cable. Okay. I guess the next thing I should do right now is fix the toilet. I haven't done the toilet. Instead, I spent a little bit of time looking at the bylaws. I can't. Ah. There doesn't appear to be anything in Windsor's bylaws that may prohibit feeding cats or hold anybody liable for the feces that's produced by it. Um, it seems as though um, my only real recourse would be to uh, bring her to small claims court, which um, for obvious reasons is not something I'm really going to want to. I can sue her for 
some cost, like, I mean, no, it's, I may even have difficulty with that case because, I mean, n not because of the clear uh, negligence, I mean, it's obvious negligence, it, it, so much as that, like, like, what, it's hard for me to determine what it is that I'm, like, suing her for, right, I mean, besides time, right, it's just, so, I mean, it's, this, it's the kind of thing that should be covered by a bylaw. I mean, I don't want to... Small claims is not the right legal idea. It, it, there should be a bylaw against this. Um, maybe I could call the mayor. Um, what I did was I sent an email out to a bylaw asking them what my options are. Um... I'm, I, I would be interested in uh, approaching city council and asking um, them to pass a law that prohibits feeding feral cats, I think, at that time. I, 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 I'm, like I said, I sent the email out, I'm waiting for a response. I, I actually do not think I have any legal recourse here. Um, so that's something, um, maybe I can get the... Uh, somewhat involved in the local politics. It's just... It's a public health problem, right? When cats defecate everywhere, it, they're spreading diseases, right? It's... It's just not... Um, it's not something that should be permitted in a, in a civilized society to feed wild animals. It's just... it's. I went over this once before, like, my definition of civilization <laughs> is is that there aren't wild animals roaming through the streets. If there's wild animals roaming through the streets, that's not, sorry, sorry guys, that's not, that's not civilization. You guys gotta, you guys gotta, you know, up your game on, on the whole civilization thing if you've got wild animals running through your streets. But, I mean, that's what I got here, is we've got wild cats, and, you know, we need to... It seems like the like like the thrust of the law is designed to like protect the rights of the. It's that that's the wrong approach. We need to rethink on this. Um, these, this is a nuisance species. Um, they're pests. Uh, we need um, to focus more on the idea of culling them than just letting you know wild animals roam free. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's barbaric, is what it is. Um, so. Um, I guess I, I, I'm not going to scratch it off, but it's probably done for the day. Um, now I'm going to go to the toilet, and I'm going to call my grandmother. So, all right, the toilet. So I, there was some water coming out, sorry, some air coming out somewhere, and I couldn't figure out exactly where. I'm pretty sure it's actually probably at the base, like right at the bottom there, which makes sense because, I mean, it was, somebody was drilling out, they were drilling out in the front to put in the, you know, they drilled up the concrete and everything. They put these, you know, so I mean they were drilling for like weeks, right? So it kind of makes sense to think that maybe the vibration, maybe put it off a little bit down at the bottom here. Meaning that I kind of had two options. I could either take the whole thing apart and put it back together, or just reduce the flow rate. And I chose to reduce the flow rate. It was working, let's make sure it's still working. <laughs> might get a little squ- yeah, see. It's worse now than it was before, but in fact what what I've done is I've made it so you can't hear it by reducing the flow rate. So I can even Yeah. Not that much more. Um it'll take longer to come in and there's a little squeal when it's done. But, um, I mean, it, 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 I guess I'm pretty sure it's right at the base. Um, which means one day it'll probably start leaking, in which case, uh, it, it might be as simple as just taking a pair of vice grips and twisting it, but I don't really want to fuck with it, so. Well, that's it there. So, we've got that dealt with, and... I'm gonna call my grandmother. The male person was just here, so I don't know if she's mailed it or not yet. It's Thursday morning now. So I'm gonna give her a call and see what she says. 
I just talked to my grandmother. My grandmother is going to send me. Get this. Is five thousand dollars enough for a computer? Yeah. <laughs> I told her it was more than enough, but that's what she wants to send me. So I got five grand coming in the next week. Um, what can I get for five grand? Well, we can fix that computer. We can fix that computer. We can fix that computer. And I told her that I will actually buy a phone in which she can call me with. Um, I should be able to do that. What will I do? Should I get a... I'll have to look into it. If she's going to send me five grand, I'll probably get one of those IP phones. Um, and what I can do with an IP phone is I can actually plug it right into my router. And uh, she can call me. So. That's that. She was happy to hear me from me, but she was getting out of the shower, so she wanted to go. Call her a shorter call than normal. She wants me to call her back when I buy something. I guess uh, okay, I'm gonna wash my face a little bit, and then I'm gonna park myself in bed with the intent of uh, focusing on the editing. I'll start calling some doctors tomorrow. Okay, and I think I'm back on track tomorrow. Finally. Okay, so I did get an email back from Viola. Um, what they're saying is that um, there's nothing regulating feeding the feral cats explicitly. Are we getting some rain? Uh, we already got a little bit this morning. Uh, but I we just got some downpour. It's not, it's not, it's not uh, against the bylaw to feed them, um, but if they... I, I, okay, so... If they have a shelter for the cat, then what that means, and they didn't go over this explicitly, but I did enough reading up on this that I kind of, I can put it together. So what they're claiming is that if there's a shelter for the feral cats, then they're claiming ownership over the feral cats. And if they claim ownership over the feral cats, then they're responsible for all the things that owning the cat would make them responsible for including pooping in other people's yards. Um, so that's kind of the, um, I, can't, I can't stop them from feeding it, but I can make them liable for pooping if they're sheltering it as well as feeding it, um, which I don't know. In fact, I was out there a few minutes ago, well, maybe more like an hour ago, and there's still no food in that bowl. And as such, I don't see any cats around. So um, I'm starting to think that I fluked out on that, that my good fortune was such that the person feeding the cat moved away. And if that's the case, um, the issue hopefully moves away, or at least, you know, maybe the issue might not move totally away, but it'll move down the street. And that's all I, I don't... The cats don't bug me as long as they don't shit on my windowsill, right? Hopefully that um, fixes it. I mean, I, I'm still going to go out, but there's nothing last night. I haven't found anything all day. And I may, uh... I may be clear of the issue along with the person that moved out there that moved away. Like I say, I saw the person that moved out. I, I overheard them say they were moving... I saw who it was. It was an older woman who feeds the cats. Older women. It totally adds up, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I may um, have flew out on that. The property owner still needs to deal with the issue. Um, and that means don't, uh, don't put some more soil down, please. So, yeah. We'll, uh... I'm going to probably go shopping with that as well. I'm going to get the money in in the next couple of days. So that'll probably deal with that, that, that. 
yeah. So yeah, like I said, I'm down to... I'm gonna wash my face, do some editing, and, uh... I, I could very well be back to the reviews tomorrow. Could be. We'll find out. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, that means that this... That machine is gonna be for dedicating for editing. I'm gonna put a little bit more RAM in it. Um, and, uh... Get some software for it, too. That's something I can maybe do tonight, is find, uh... Do some research on some software, figure out what the best thing to do for that is as well. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and put that on the... Uh... Well, no, we'll, uh... No. Wait that out. Five fucking grand. Now I'll do some research and realize that the computer I want is $4,500 right now. It's... I'll probably send $600 on the computer. But I'll take her money. Thanks, Nana.